my kill is it is on. It's Nate. I'm back again with a lesson of the week. And I'm also extremely excited to bring you this week's guest. Mr. Nick Smith has been an inspiration to me for the last three to four years. I am super humbled that Nick has agreed to join me in this lesson. One of the highlights of my California trip was hearing Nick play and getting to speak to Nick. He just continues to be an inspiration. So please welcome Nick Smith. Yo, what's up? Nick Smith Global. Man, had to drop in on this video. Nate, great job, sir. Let's get straight to it, man. Great job. So the tune we're going to deal with today is one of the tunes that was famous on the Soul Tone channel for a couple years, and it's the John Witt tune in three. And I transcribed this tune, at least the sort of solo highlights of it. So here's what it sounds like. So I want to go through playing different sections of this for you slowly and showing you kind of the the constituent elements of what Nick's doing before I turn it over to Nick for him to atomize your brain and tell me I'm doing everything wrong. But first, I want to talk to you about the form of the solo section. So as you may know, and you'll certainly hear if you look it up, I'll link to it, this John Witt track is just kind of a backbeat waltz that has a beat that sounds sort of like this. One, two, three. So in the solo section, which is kind of the middle section of the tune, there's a series of hits. And so I'm going to show you what they are, and then I'm going to show you how Nick hits them. And then we're going to go on because the most interesting material is the material in between the figures, not the figures themselves. So the first is a, a pattern of four bars with hits on beat one. The first bar on beats one and two of the second bar second bar and then two empty bars so that sounds like this one two three one two three one two three so nick catches this by going like this one two three okay and then he plays the fill that i'll discuss so the second is similar but it's got an upbeat so it's one two three one, two, three, one, two, three. So Nick plays this like, or Nick catches that figure like this. One, two, three. So the third pattern is yet another variation, which sounds like this. One, two, three. So it's on the upbeat of two. So it keeps migrating farther into the bar. So it's, it creates a little surprise for your ear. So the way Nick hits this figure is one, two, three. One, two, three. And those will make more sense in context when I show you what he's doing as the kind of connective tissue between those. So the first whole four bar sequence is this. One, two, three. Okay, so let's break down that inner fill and make it slower. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so really quickly, a couple interesting elements in this. So if you put that all in the snare drum, it just sounds like this. So it's really simple, it's just singles and combos, but by moving that left hand to the hi-hat, 
So the second fill that Nick does goes like this. One, two, three. So more slowly. One, two, three. So that's just triplets. And the interesting thing is beginning the triplet on the hi-hat and then accenting the last two. So you can play that in four. You can add a kick drum. And instantly you've got a cool fill there. The flams are these kind of Vinny flams where the grace notes on the tom and the accent is on the rim shot. So the next one is one of the most interesting and it goes like this. One, two, three. And let me do that a little bit more slowly. One, two, three. So a couple interesting things that'll come back later. This whole idiom, so these are singles. Right, it's just groups of three. And then this thing. So you can make a fill out of that already. Right. So keep your eye on that. That's going to come back. So the last part of this solo that I transcribed is this bit. One, two, three. So let's break that down into its constituent parts. The first part is. And that is comprised of singles and inverted paradiddles. So. Right? So the first part, just singles. That's an inverted paradiddle. Remember the inverted paradiddles from last week with Steve? And then he kind of does a clever thing where, and he, he doubles that with the foot, so. So again, in context, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so the last part is this two bar linear fusion gospel Chris Coleman-ish type of lick, which sounds like this. One, two, three. So the first part, two, three. So that's really just, right, it's really just these linear combos, but he's put a herta on the second one, so. And the next bar. The last two bars all together, two, three. So remember this. From the second fill. It's just, it's a different orchestration. So that's a fill you can do in a lot of places. And uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is, if you want to sort of normalize that and straighten it out, you can go from three groups to four. So that's a phrase, three, four. Right, and you can orchestrate that.
Okay, so I think I've done enough with this. I want to turn this over to Nick to give you his take on stuff and to expand on the stuff that he's done. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. Nick Smith. Yo, what's up? Nick Smith Global. Man, had to drop in on this video. Nate, great job, sir. Let's get straight to it, man. Great job. Accurate. Um, right on target. Waltz, groove, singles to the inverted. Uh, triplet, all of that, man. Great. Thank you, for real. Greatly appreciate it. Um, all I would include in this video um, is the encouragement to um, feel and fundamentals. Uh, you broke down the fundamentals, but that feel is 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 um, very important. I say because that's how I got through that record. I, my first time playing to the record um, was the video that's published. Uh, uh, up until then, I was just listening, processing, and gaining feel for the record. Um, so, I, along with those fundamentals, go get those fundamentals. But after that. Apply your own feel as an, this is art. A creator of art is an artist and you do what you feel. Um, through peace, love, you know, maximize your 24. Nick Smith Global, once again, thank you, Nate. Great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. Okay, thanks again to Nick for joining me and for really helping to enhance this lesson and make it deeper by sharing his knowledge with you guys. It's definitely a rare treat. So really quickly, my customary closing sales pitch. If you guys have been friends of the channel for a minute, if you feel like you might be ready to study with me, I recommend something called the 80-20 coaching course. For pennies on the dollar, you can get the equivalent of studying with me for like six months. And if you'd like a gateway drug to that, if you're not sure you want to get in, but you want to learn more, I recommend my intro product, the 8020 Roadmap, which you can have for just dirt cheap. And the gist of that is that most drummers I see in clinics and in lessons and in video submissions to my course make some version of the same three mistakes. They're not the mistakes they think they need to work on, but the 8020 Roadmap will help you triage those so that you can get on the track to getting better. Guys, it's been a rare pleasure can't wait to get back at you with another lesson of the week. One love.